Hey everyone, it's Jen with Chappie Plans. Thanks for joining me for this Project Life video. If you'd like to see what I'm gonna do, stick around. What's up friends? It's Gem with Chappie Plans. Thanks for hanging out with me for this Project Life process video. This is going to be week 36 in my 9x12 scrapbook album that I use from scrapbook.com along with the inserts and or page protectors. Here I'm showing you the embellishments I plan to use to decorate these cards and photos. They are all from the September Stories by the Month kit from Ellie Edwards along with items from my stash that are also Ellie Edwards. The only thing that is not are the paper person alphas that I'm using because they are the perfect shade of like peachy pink. So I am going to speed this up to four times and keep doing the voiceover and talk you through my process. This week was our first couple of days at school, so this kit worked perfectly, and it's just completely serendipitous that I wore a green dress on my first day of work, and my husband wore a green plaid shirt, which matched perfectly with the kit. So um, I kind of went with this circle theme for some reason. I loved the vellum patterned paper card there with the florals. I love, love, love that print. So I used my one and a quarter inch circle punch to punch out circles from that card. I was able to get six pieces. And then you saw I just did a one and a half inch punch for the 0924. I thought that would look great on the title card here. And I used the word phrase stickers. So that one says turning this page and starting a new chapter. Then I'm gonna use those paper person alphas to spell out week 36. And then in the bottom right corner, I'm going to use half of a label circle sticker, which is also from Allie Edwards, but I don't remember from which story kit, and another one of those vellum circles. I also brought in these little starburst puffy stickers as well, and I will continue to pull um, from that page the like dark green and then the peach um, khaki color, and then there's like a creamy... I don't know. It's like a greenish, whitish. It's a very interesting color. I can't imagine using it on um, other projects, but it worked really well for this particular week. So there I'm pulling them out and you can see that that creamish, greenish, whatever color there. <laughs> I do use that color as well, but just not on the title card. So the first photo that I'm going to decorate is Nora and her friend Vivian, who had just come in from being outside on the trampoline. So they have like mascara running down their faces. She had slept over the night before and this was Labor Day. Um, oh, there's my Hobonichi cousin that I reference for all the things. And then what I decided to do, and I'm kind of like loving that I came up with this idea, or though maybe somebody else did at some point, I just never noticed. But it gives me so much more real estate now and ideas for future um scrapbook projects so I took this tag card this banner shaped tag card and tr cut it up using my mini guillotine trimmer into like I don't know how big they are but <laughs> I tried to make them all even in um width and then I used the white part to do the journaling see there I'm gonna trim it right now with my Fiskars trimmer and then I used a corner rounder to round the corners of the rectangular shaped strips because I wanted it to go a little bit more with the circle um, shapes that I had punched out and that I'll be using throughout the week. So you can see I'm going to trim it down so that it fits on this photo. And then I'm going to grab my corner punch and create um, cornered edges around that label that I just created. I think that's so fun. So anyway, <laughs> it's the little things. Um, I just journaled that Vivian came over for a sleepover and they had a fun morning. And then I put a word phrase sticker that says loving this so much and then a puffy starburst. And then I stamped the date down Nora's arm. <laughs> so that's it for the top row. And then the middle row is two journaling cards with a photo, a selfie of me in the middle. It was Nora's first day of fourth grade and my first day as a building sub. So I got to be in kindergarten that day. I'm a part-time building sub, which isn't really a thing, but it is now because it's a very long story. But essentially, we are in like the lowest paying school district in the area and they just cannot get people. And finally, after about a year and a half of wearing down um, the principal, who I worked closely with when I was PTA president the last couple of years, um, I just kept saying I cannot work full time, but I will work 
part-time and then I told him the days I could work and all summer he kept calling me and trying to ask me to work full-time and I said no and then finally a few weeks before school he called me and he said all right I got somebody to take the other two days permanently so can you do Monday Wednesday Thursday so those are the days that I will be at the school and for that first day I got to be in kindergarten which was so fun the kiddos are adorable so tiny and so hard to believe that my child um, was that size and just that, that tiny, you know, <laughs> feels like yesterday, but it wasn't. Um, so anywho, I am journaling on the everyday moments card about everyday moments. So I used my, um, what is this called? Zig clean color dot marker. And I am putting that Matt spent all day on Labor Day doing labor. He built all the, um, new furniture we got at Ikea the week before, Nora had her first therapy appointment and loved it. Um, I got Happy Meal from the one and only Allie Edwards, which was the highlight of my week and the best Happy Meal in the world because um, I am a huge Dave Matthews fan. And if you follow her, then you know she is too. And she um, was really, really, really generous and kind and sent me a couple of vinyl stickers in her handwriting um, from two Dave Matthews songs that she made into stickers. And she even wrote me like a little hand address note and I was just like over the moon <laughs> fangirling about it. So I had to put that in the journaling and then also put that we got to meet Nora's teacher and drop off her school supplies on Wednesday. And then on the selfie photo, I just made another one of those labels and wrote first day as a part time building sub and then put the word phrase sticker that says new school routines and another puffy starburst in that weird light green color. And then on the journaling card to the right that says school routines, so happy to see you again, I decided to trim the chipboard circle into a semicircle because they're so large. Um, and I already had done the semicircle shape on the title card when I stamped the date. So I like the way that it took up space, but also wasn't too overwhelming. And then I just layered um, one of those vellum floral um, circles that I punched out and then a puffy sticker. And then I just wrote... Uh, back to the morning hustle, but now I have to be ready to go too. I couldn't do it without Matt, who makes my coffee, Nora's lunch, and helps us get out the door on time. This early routine means early bed and night routines too. And then moving on to the bottom row, I use my Tombow Mono Dot adhesive to tape the 3x4 card and the photo on the back of the 4x6 card that is on the other side um, so that they wouldn't budge in the pocket because it is a pocket meant for 4x6 um, items. This picture is Matt pretending to box with Smokey. Totally normal. So um, I just wrote that um, they're always at it and this time they're boxing in the morning and it helped kind of make the mood better because it was, I think, one of the first days of school. And then I layer it with the same formula I've been doing, you know, like a semicircle and then the vellum circle, puffy sticker. And then I wanted to put a word phrase strip, but it didn't really work. So I do go back and add LOL. I'm not sure when that happens, though, but oh, maybe I do that now. OK, I think it's maybe the second side, the right side of the spread where I end up going back and adding alpha alpha stickers um, after the fact. So uh, then the middle journaling card that just says this, I just used to bullet um, things about our day before school. So that was Wednesday. Nora got a haircut. We had Chipotle for lunch. We went to Target and she dropped off her school supplies and then she had cheer practice. Um, so that photo to the right is her with her fresh haircut looking way too old. And I stamped the date on that and kept it simple. I didn't want to add anything to the picture. It's one of my favorite pictures of her. I think she looks so sweet. And um, I am going to show you a close up in real time of how this side of the spread turned out. I just think that's so funny, the picture of Matt and Smokey, like, boxing with each other. <laughs> um, okay, so moving on to the right, I have the first day 4x6 card, and I already cut down the photo of Nora, which worked out well because it's not the best quality. Um, I don't know if there was something on my camera lens or what that morning, but I took a picture of her in front of the school, and they just renovated the building, so it was very exciting to be back at their school this year because last year we were at a totally different building and site, so it's just really fun to be able 
able to celebrate being back in the building and having it all fresh and new. For the most part, they're still working on some things, but they did get quite a bit done. And then the picture on the right is in front of our home, and that's just her with her sign there. And I wrote on a label circle sticker that she's eight years old, four foot five, 83 pounds, smart, funny, empathetic. And I do go back later and add fourth and then GR for grade uh, with those alpha stickers. And um, on the first day card, I just wrote Nora's a fourth grader. I subbed for kindergarten. We're exhausted but ready. It's a newly renovated building and cheers to another year. Uh, later, I will go back and add a little piece of a banner um, that was left over, one of those strips to the top, and then a puffy sticker. And then in the middle row, there is a photo of Nora, which is actually from my Instagram story. So make sure you're following me over there if you're not already. It's the same handle, Chappy Plans, always linked in my description box, because I like to try to pop onto stories pretty often, especially if we're out and about, and just kind of share... Um, bits and pieces of our life. So I took this photo from those stories because we were at the mall Friday and we had to pick up her leggings that had just been hemmed. So uh, I just think she looks, again, like a little preteen, even though she's not really. Um, so on the on the label card, I wrote eight going on 18 and she got two new pairs of leggings. And then I uh, put the word phrase sticker that says always growing and then another puffy sticker. Later on, again, I will go back to that photo and add the alpha stickers and spell out Friday. And then the middle card is actually a tag that just says S September stories. And I journaled, um, fun Friday was a blast. I took Nora to get boba, but half the mall was without power. So we ventured to the other half and got it at Gong Cha, which is a different boba place than we usually go. Um, we went to Five Below, It's Sugar, and the pet store. They had a baby corgi out we pet. We went to, to Lulu to pick up her new leggings, then met Matt at Miniso. We're so excited about Miniso, by the way. It's a brand new store in our mall. And if you've ever been, just let me know below because we're obsessed. And if you've never been, then Google it because it's amazing. <laughs> um, anyway, and then I wrote dinner was at 110 Grill, followed by me locking my keys in the car, which that was an adventure. My husband, poor guy, he had met us at the mall and then had to go home um, and get my keys and come back and let us in the car. Goodness gracious. Um, so that was kind of a interesting way to end our Friday, but that's okay. Um, and then I just kept it simple with a little, like, I don't know what, this was supposed to be a banner tag. And again, I just trimmed it down so that it looked like with the label stickers, but I really just wanted to add a little bit of color to the tag. So that's why I did that. And then the word phrase strip that says new things. See there, I'm cutting it down right now. Um, and then a puffy sticker and stamp the date. And then the photo that I was decorating before is Nora and her piano teacher and children's director at our church, and she was doing a piano lesson. So I just wrote on the um, label sticker, you love your biweekly piano lessons and you're a very quick learner. And then use the other half of that um, green gingham chipboard circle. And then moving on to the bottom row, I just put um, a flip up there, a picture of Nora doing her crazy contortion pose at the end of their first home game with her good friend Mia on top. So it looked like one person, but really it was <laughs> Mia and then Nora in her contortion pose. And then the bottom photo is just a selfie of my hubby and I at the game. And I just used, you can see I'm auditioning um, pocket cards there and I go with the vellum gold foiled September stories because I don't really need to do any journaling and so I think this is a nice filler card um, and I would like to make sure I try to use as many of the September um, or like 09 elements as possible this month so that they're not sitting in my stash for a whole year uh, and then on the front of the card of Mia, um, card, on the front of the photo of Mia and Nora, I just put another one of those labels that I made. I'm trimming it down now, rounding the corners and journaling post game goofs. And then saying, oh, we won, by the way. And then adding the word phrase strip that says, this is real life because that is hilarious. And then that weird creamy green puffy sticker. And then underneath on the picture of Matt and I, I all I did was just to add a circle um, vellum punch out because I had one more left and I, or I had two more left and I was like, well, I got to use them. So I put it on this picture with a word phrase strip that just says cool and crisp. And then the last um, pocket card is the four by six one with the green gingham on the top. And I added the other half circle of that floral pattern um, that matches the one that I had put up on Nora's first day of school picture 
then the last vellum circle that I had punched out with the florals, a puffy sticker, and then the word phrase strip that says making changes. I do use those alphas to spell out busy weekend and took an opportunity to journal about the things we did over the weekend using my Zig Clean Color Dot marker again. So I just journaled that Saturday was not a good one between the phone call from my mom and our family meeting family needing a reset. It was pretty unpleasant. The highlight was Nora's piano lesson. Our first home game, we won 32 to 6. It was very chilly outside, and I'm enjoying that. Um, Matt finished our big dresser, so I spent all day taking everything out of drawers, folding, organizing, and moving things around. Our room looks pretty good. I also brought up fall and winter clothes. And then the last thing I journaled was that I had to stop and bring Nora to urgent care to make sure her huge bug bite was okay. It took an hour, but they gave us cream. Matt went to watch the first Lions game at Tim's and got home after midnight. That was late Sunday night. So those are all things that like didn't necessarily have photos. Um, now I'm going to go and add some alpha stickers to some of the pictures that I had forgotten about that I mentioned earlier. And that is going to conclude the right side of this spread. I'm going to show you a close up in real time as usual. For some reason, my camera would not focus, so I apologize that the close-ups are not great quality. I messed around with it for quite a while trying to get it to focus a little better, but hopefully you can see it when I put this all together, both pages next to each other. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you did, subscribe if you're not, and make sure you hit the bell, and take care of yourselves, friends, and remember that you are enough. Love you. Bye.